The high seas make up 47% of our planet, but they are the least explored and least governed part of it. A British businesswoman uh, is hoping to change the status quo by turning the oceans into an online country known as Terra Mar. Now, here it is. It's a website where you can sign up and become a citizen, stick your name on a parcel of ocean, or become an ambassador for one of the many marine species. I caught up with founder Gillen Maxwell to find out a little more about how this whole project works. You've basically staked a claim to the high seas and you've called them Terra Mar. How are you able to do that? <laughs> um, well, first of all, it does belong to everybody. And up until now, uh, there hasn't been a defined area around it that everyone can sort of recognize. The high seas alone, it's an area that has some laws, um, mm. inconsistent laws, areas where there are no laws and conflicting laws. And the idea is, I'm not sure how is it possible that almost half our planet has virtually no governance and not one person that is looking after it for the benefit of all of us. So metaphorically, Terramar is a country with citizens, right? All citizens of the world are citizens of Terramar mm. or citizens of the high seas, if you will, part of the global commons. But so that you feel a sense of identity, we're giving you passports to it. So when you go to the site, it's free, you sign in and you get a digital passport to mm. Terramar. So I've just signed up and I've also signed up for Twitter and I, I shall tweet about this interview uh, um, directly afterwards. What, what do I get as Becky Anderson, a new citizen of Terramar? What well, access do I get? What facilities well, do I get? First of all, we're thrilled to have you. <laughs> thrilled to be with you. Um, you will get a digital passport um, with your name and your ID number. And we will, uh, you will be able to follow the progress of the high seas. Anything that happens significant on the high seas now, mm. you'll be able to find out what's going on. We uh, have a million and a half marine species and you can select one to be the ambassador to Terramar and be the spokesperson mm. for that species. Uh, you can sponsor a piece of the ocean. Can I claim this parcel of the ocean for myself? I mean, I, I guess that, that what I'm thinking of the downsides of the possibility of people going out and saying, well, that's mine. I'm taking that. Well, obviously... I won't do that, of course. No. <laughs> uh, well, obviously, um, I'm not suggesting that you actually own that piece of the ocean because that piece of the ocean actually belongs to all of us or mm. some of it that's on the map actually belongs to other countries. I don't think they'd be very happy if you said it was suddenly yours. But it gives you a digital presence. It gives you a sure. connection that you didn't have. And we're trying to build a standing community for the ocean, for the commons, for our future. The Law of the Sea Convention states that the seabed area is, uh, belongs to us and it's for us today and for future generations' mm. use. And we've never had a say. Are you trying to get Terramar officially recognised as a country? Well, I think that that probably, we must say at this point, that that definitely won't happen. But um, it could receive some sort of special status, much like, um, you know, World Heritage Sites or something, mm. that will allow it to be recognised as one entity. I mean, it is a really vast area and it does require management.